Look, man, in order for you to really grow and experience your truest self while on this path towards spiritual development, you must learn to start letting go and surrendering yourself to the way of the universal flow. Having too many ties in this world will only lead you astray. It weakens one's ambition distracts you from what truly matters. Attachment is the root of all suffering. suffering. Wise words from the one and only Siddhartha Gautama, aka the Buddha himself. As everything within this world is impermanent, yet so many of us tend to act in ways to alter and go against the grain of this natural flow of life. And similar to swimming upstream against the current, this constant battle towards trying to attain and attach ourselves to being someone or something inevitably leaves us exhausted, confused, and eventually leads us nowhere. nowhere. But fear not my friends because this is where the art of detachment comes into play. A universal concept from some of the greatest philosophers, religious leaders, and spiritual teachers of human history. Yet one that is also commonly misinterpreted and misunderstood. So to break it down real quick like a brick for y'all in simple terms, the art of detachment is not the idea that you own nothing and you just don't do anything all day. But rather it's the inner wisdom knowing that nothing owns you. Because true detachment is not not about separating yourself from life, but it's about attaining absolute freedom from within to experience and explore it all. Have a mind that is open to everything and attached to nothing. So with all that said, when it comes to actually applying the art of detachment on your road to achieving spiritual fulfillment, you must understand that the root of all your attachments stems from your insecurities. True. As the things you obsess over and cling on to so tightly are just a mere reflection of what's missing inside, acting as an attempt to cover up the emptiness you feel within. And while it may be that these things provide you a temporary sense of relief, at the end of the day, this is nothing but a false sense of security. So by renouncing these external attachments, attachments, we end up making room to address the real issues going on internally, instead of trying to chase these things outside of ourselves to help numb the pain. Because in order to truly heal and liberate yourself from all the suffering that comes with attachments, you cannot beat around the bush and just try to treat the symptoms. So it's time to get busy and get down to the root of it all. Surrender yourself. Okay, I'll try. Now think of your attachments and let them go. Let the pure cosmic energy flow. Now this concept of learning how to become more involved with life and less attached to it is something that we all must learn to practice and develop on over time. Because detachment is not a physical act, but rather a state of mind. So don't get it twisted, twisted man. man. We ain't about to just go and give up on everything in life and just throw it all away. But what we is gonna do is start to act without worrying about the results. As we immerse ourselves fully into the present moment of whatever it is that we're trying to pursue. While at the same time trusting in the process of the universal order of life and accepting whatever it is that reality throws our way. Because the very moment we start to detach from our external interests and start grounding ourselves more on our internal intentions, the more we open up ourselves to the unknown, where the possibilities are endless and our potential has no limits. So just let go of the idea of how you think things should be. Because the universe is never wrong and uncertainty is the only way forward. So instead of fighting against it, why not just learn how to flow with it? Stop trying to play God and learn to sit back and enjoy all the ups and downs and twists and turns on this roller coaster ride that we call life. So control what you can and just keep on moving bro. Cause your job is to set an intention and put in the work. So just leave the rest up to the universe man cause you ain't got the sauce like that. You're not that guy pal, trust me. You're not that guy. All in all though man, when you really break it down, transcending your attachment is not about getting rid of all these things in the external world, but rather about cultivating the internal attitude needed to accept them as they are. Nothing but impermanent drops of water passing through the river of life. As our desires in life may be the thing that holds us back from ever realizing our true purpose. 
but on the flip side can also be the same thing that gives us the power needed to reach face to face with our highest self. As we either remain ignorant and attached to the things that are temporary and impermanent or learn to transcend it to what is eternal. Come on man, the devil's in the details. So with all that said man, it's time for you to break free from this prison of misery and suffering that you've built off the back of your attachments. Because to keep it simple at the end of the day, if you ain't got nothing to cling on to, then man, that means you get to play the game of life with nothing to lose.